Hello, what is up? This is Armand of Jazz Setter. I hope everyone's doing well in spite of the sickness and lockdowns and all the negative vibes that has been happening all over. 2022 did not start well for most of you, including myself, but I'm back again for another video and I hope to produce at least one content every week for all of you to enjoy. For first time viewers, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel and for those who have already subscribed, please hit that bell button so you will be notified of new content from my channel. The video I made this time is part two of the content that I did last year when I showed you some of my niche perfume collection and I picked out those that I wanted to dispose this time around, I'll be cleaning out my designer perfume collection, but I've thrown in also a couple of niche fragrances. And the reason why I'm doing this is that I wanted to have a, a tighter collection that I could rotate or use more often and also give chances to other collectors to own some of these fragrances that are considered to be unicorn finds for them. As usual, those who have subscribed and who have liked this video have the first dibs if you would like to get these fragrances. So I'm starting with three fragrances from Hugo Boss and I recently made a video about this um, sharing you my thoughts of um, this collection called The Scent from Boss from Hugo Boss. And one of them is Boss The Scent. Um, this is the original one. I think this was done in 2015. Um, I got this because I love ginger fragrances and unfortunately I didn't get the ginger fragrance that I wanted in, in, in my perfume. I find this to be a nice fragrance, better than how most people actually review this in Pragmatica, but this is not for me. I think that the performance is um, not up to my level. And also, I was looking for a ginger fragrance that has a lot of oomph, a lot of aroma, a lot of spiciness, and I couldn't get it from Boss the Scent. So I'm letting this go. This is the first one. Second one is also from Hugo Boss, and this is Private Accord. This is actually better than the first one. Um, I think this is the one with the chocolate note which really intrigued me and um, this also has ginger unfortunately I didn't get much of the chocolate note that or the cacao note that um, I was searching for in a fragrance plus um, this is just a moderate uh, performer so it's not for me so I'm letting this go as well. Third fragrance is uh, also from Hugo Boss and it's um, Absolute, um, Boss Descent Absolute. Um, I like this also but um, again the, the ginger note is not as prominent as I wanted it to be in my, in, in the, my fragrance. Plus I think that this has a lot of similarities with um, DNG with Dolce and & and Gabbana, the one. So for me, this is not as original as I thought that it would be, so I'm letting this go as well. Fourth fragrance is from Victor and Rolf, and this is Spice Bum Night Vision Eau de Toilette. Um, I, I liked it the first time that I got this, but then I don't really wear this as often as I should. Uh, in fact, I think I've worn this maybe once or twice um, since I got this last year. So I'm letting this go. Another fragrance from Victor and Rolf is Spice Bomb Infrared. Uh, this is a nice fragrance. Um, in fact, this has gotten a lot of uh, good reviews uh, in Fragrantica. I don't think that it's for me though because I feel that it's quite redundant getting all the spice bomb flankers they're not really much different from from each other plus i think that uh the fruitiness that i was expecting here uh fell short from my expectations so i'm, I'm letting this go as well i have three fragrances from uh, mancera and the first one that i'm letting go and it took me quite a while to 
you know, think about this, but I told myself that I'm more in search for uh, so more sophisticated fragrances right now. Although that, although I've uh, enjoyed wearing this in the past, I think it's it's time to move on to you know to to more sophisticated fragrances. And um, I'm decided to let this go. This is said that Boise uh, from Mancera. Um, I enjoy. I've I've enjoyed wearing this before, but now i just feel like it's not really for me so again letting this go another fragrance from mancera is black gold um i really liked this when i first got this but like but like what i've said i think i'm more into more sophisticated fragrances right now which which is more age appropriate um this one got a lot of um of compliments whenever I uh, whenever I wore this but um, still still a good fragrance but I think I'm done with this and I'm sure that um, some of you would be happy to try this to try black gold another fragrance from Mancera is Kumkat wood I really enjoy wearing this before as a layering fragrance. Usually I layer this with citrus base or fresh uh, fragrances. But um, I think right now I'm done with it. Um, it's quite potent. It's a very long lasting uh, fragrance, but it's too one dimensional for me. So I'm letting this go as well. I'm also letting go two women's fragrances or I, I guess uh, fragrances that are predominantly marketed towards women. Uh, fragrances that I love wearing before but now I realize that this is not for me. And this is from Julia Tazagan and it's called Hmm. This is also a fragrance that I used to layer before with some of my uh, fragrances in order for them to be um, in order for them to, to smell fruitier in order for them to smell you know more uplifting because it has a very uh, youthful appeal but right now I don't think this is um, for me anymore uh, I think I'm through with uh, fragrances that are marketed more towards a younger you know younger uh, group of people and um, this leans um, way too feminine for me right now so i'm letting this go as well another fragrance that i am letting go is uh, dolce gabbana intense or the parfum i only got this because i enjoyed the light blue version so much and i thought that maybe it should have a companion uh, bottle so that's the reason why i got this this is actually a good fragrance. I've worn this several times and I got a lot of uh, compliments, believe it or not. Um, but um, I, I, I think it smells a little bit juvenile for, for my taste right now. So not for me. It's, it's too feminine also. Uh, but I still like it actually. Maybe some of you, uh, the women out there would probably like this so this is Dolce & Gabbana um, Intense or the Parfum I also have three fragrances from Christian Dior and this is from their uh, Dior Homme collection um, I'm letting this go this is Dior Homme 2020 um, I never really liked this to be honest um, it's quite a safe fragrance for me it lacks uh, personality not as good i think as compared to you know the the earlier um, fragrances or the earlier flankers this one for for me is a little bit boring so i'm sorry but i have to let this go the next two fragrances are unicorn fragrances for um, your own collectors and I actually um, 
contemplated on this before I, I said to myself that I would be letting this go. I'll be keeping the original and the intense version. But Dior Om O for me um, it doesn't live up to my expectations. Um, it's a good fragrance, but um, it's it's it also lacks a little bit of personality uh, to me. Um, I don't think that I like this as much as Intense and the original. I'm sure that a lot of you would probably be enjoying this or a lot of you are probably seeking this. This is um, hard to find already. This one is about eight or nine years old. Um, I've used this only a couple of times and I'm letting this go. I'm also letting go um, Dior Om Sport. Um, I, I'm sorry, I think this is about maybe, I don't know, six years uh, old. But this one I think is the older one. This one I think is about nine years old. This was a unicorn fragrance for me. I was um, uh, searching for this for quite some time. And it was only last year that I got to find this. But it didn't really uh, uh, lived up to my expectations. Uh, I was hoping that it would be a little bit more spicier, a little bit more citrusy. But it's not. Um, um, to me, it lacks a bit of personality, at least to, to my taste. So I'm letting this go as well. Another fragrance that I'm letting go, which I used to really, really like before, is Ted Dev Mess. And uh, this is the all fresh uh, version. When I first got this, I was really in love with it. Uh, I was really in love with its um, realistic orange fragrance. During the time when I was into orange fragrances or citrusy fragrances. Um, but right now, you know, um, this fragrance the water notes or um the the uh cologne or the water notes of this fragrance give me uh, a bit of a headache so um i'm letting this go as well so that um some of you can enjoy this um maybe i've um overgrown this uh, fragrance it's a nice fragrance and i'm sure a lot of you would be enjoying this but this is a no for me at this moment so i'm letting this go two fragrances from garlan and this is from the lom ideal uh, collection i'm letting this go this is the sport uh, flanker from lom ideal i just think that this lacks uh, personality for me plus the the, the water notes actually also makes me, um, well, it gives me a little bit of a headache. I've only used this maybe a couple of times, as you can see. It's quite a nice fragrance. Um, I really love the Lomidea line, but I, I've decided to let this go so that others would enjoy this fragrance. Another one that I'm letting go is cool at first i really like this because of the mint note but uh they smell quite similar the, these two plus i think that i'm good with the lomideal cologne version the white one this one it's it's a bit generic smelling for me so i uh, decided to let this go another fragrance that um I fell in love with, you know, from the very first time that I've used this 20 years ago um, up to maybe uh, two or three years ago is uh, Bulgari uh, Pur Om Extreme. Um, I just find this to be, oh, it, it's still good actually. Maybe I'll keep it. You know, I f fell in love with this fragrance the first time I, I smelled this and this is actually my signature scent 15-20 um, years ago. Um, but I don't know, maybe I've overgrown this. Um, I think it's a little bit too safe for me. 
it does still smell good okay i i think i am i'll be letting this go um this bulgari uh, pour homme extreme and lastly um i've decided to let this uh, fragrance go because it makes me sneeze it's because of the you know aggressive oak moss note although this fragrance gets a lot of, of compliments whenever i use this so it's you know, it's quite unusual for someone to let this go because it gets a lot of compliments. But then, whenever I use this, uh, it just makes me sneeze because it's too aggressive. It's too... I'm letting this go because it's too fragrant. Uh, and this is Hachibat from Nishane. And this is a 50 ml bottle. So originally, I thought that, you know, this could be a good alternative for um, Aventus but actually I prefer Aventus more than this so there you have it these are some of the fragrances that I'm letting this go some of this I'm uh, parting with a heavy heart because um, it took quite a while for for me to get them but then I've not been using them, so might as well that other people would uh, have use for them. So there you have it. These are the fragrances that I've decided to let go this year. Some of them I'm parting with a heavy heart because it took a while for me to get them, um, to collect them. But I just have to let them go because I haven't been using them. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. So just um, message below if you're interested to get them. I hope to see you soon and uh, goodbye.